Bonjour! Hi, and welcome to Ottawa! That's right, today we're exploring the capital of Canada with its perfect mix of old and modern vibes. And this video is going to be special because we're here right in the heart of winter holidays, so you'll get to experience the Christmas charm of Ottawa. And also you'll get to experience Ottawa in its natural habitat, snowing and cold. In this video we're going to talk about three main aspects of life in Ottawa, its people and culture, its economy and job opportunities, as well as the cost of living, to give you an idea of what it's like living in Ottawa. Let's go! Ottawa is the capital of Canada, and the way it became capital is the most Canadian thing ever. The thing is, is that Quebec and Ontario were the two provinces making up the country at the time. And Ottawa was conveniently placed right at the border between two provinces. So when the decision had to be made, Queen Victoria decided to be polite and fair to both English and French. That's how Ottawa became capital of Canada. Ottawa is also reasonably far away from the American border, which makes it even more appealing, especially considering the fact that Americans did try to invade Ottawa twice. Once known for its extensive trading and lumbering community, Ottawa became the capital of Canada in 1857 and has since grown into one of the largest cities in the country, with the greater Ottawa area at 4 million population. Many believe that the Ottawa was named after the Ottawa nation. However, some evidence suggests that it was named after the Algonquin word Adawe, which means to trade, which kind of sounds plausible given the city's backstory. Tribes that originally settled here were best known for the fur trade, thanks to its natural rivers. The city's area was actually an unnamed campsite until 1827, when it got its first name, Bytown. Fast forward to the 1860s, Ottawa has become one of the largest milling operations in the entire world. The Grand Trunk Railway and other American rail networks made Ottawa one of the most interconnected cities in North America, and that was another perk for Queen Victoria to make it capital. The city does a fantastic job intertwining culture and politics, encompassing the old nostalgic feeling of Ottawa while maintaining its modernity. With such a fascinating history, Ottawa's vibe does feel special, especially comparing to hustle and bustle of Toronto and sophistication of Montreal. If you like this video, please tap the like button below, because one, I'm freezing, and two, this video is going to get even more interesting now. If you want the perfect blend of old and new, Buy Work Market is the place to start your acquaintance with the city. It's attraction number one for tourists in Ottawa. Around this place is a vibrant and colorful neighborhood that spans over four blocks. And this is a perfect way to get the feel of the authentic culture in Ottawa. All right, guys, now let's address the elephant in the room. I mean in the city. It's really hard to ignore the gorgeous parliament building on the Parliament Hill. As the capital of Canada, Ottawa is home to the federal government. In fact, the government is the city's largest employer, employing over 20% of the residents. So you're bound to see government officials strolling the streets. And if you're wondering where your taxes are going, the Parliament building is currently undergoing a $3 billion renovation, which is not expected to be completed until 2028. You know, I found it hard to believe, but apparently another thing that our taxes go to worse is the Canadian flag at the top of the Peace Tower. It's replaced every weekday, except for statutory holidays. Any Canadian resident can request to receive one of the previous flags for free, but there is a catch. The waiting list is currently over 100 years long. 
Let's count the amount of Canadian flags I can see here in the radius of 100 meters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven flags! Ottawa is a truly bilingual city. Its bilingualism rate is at 44%. You can certainly get by speaking just one of the official languages, unless you want to work for the government, in which case you'll have to be bilingual. Although way smaller than Montreal or Toronto, Ottawa still has this big city feel without being too overwhelming. It's a good balance between open green space and skyscraper buildings. And skyscrapers aren't that tall. In fact, there are only seven buildings in Ottawa that exceed 100 meters. In comparison, Toronto has nearly 100 buildings taller than 100 meters. It's a great place to settle down if you want the best of both urban and rural worlds. The population of Ottawa is around 1 million people, and nearly half of that population is under the age of 35, and the average age is 40 years old, which makes Ottawa one of the youngest cities in Canada. Most of the youngsters live around Byward Market, Sandy Hill and Centertown. The other half are families who look to settle down in urban area that's safer, less noisy and less expensive than the big three. Some of the family-friendly neighborhoods include Orleans, Kanata, Barhaven and Alta Vista. It's also important to mention Gatineau here. Even though technically it's in Quebec, many people still consider it like an extension of Ottawa, just because it's 14 minutes drive away or a bus ride. And many people commute back and forth for work or recreational purposes. Ottawa is also one of the least diverse cities in Canada. Only 23% of people here identify as visible minorities. And the largest immigrant communities in Ottawa are Arab, Chinese and South European. Did you know that the current Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, was born in Ottawa? Guess he didn't have to move too far when he got the job. Ottawa is in the confluence of three major rivers. With the most of the city center spanning across the Ottawa River, winters here can get pretty cold. So cold that Ottawa is actually ranked the seventh coldest capital in the world. And it kind of makes sense with the cold temperatures and the strong wind that we get here. If you live in Ottawa, let me know how you feel about the city's snow removal services, because uh, there's a lot of snow here. The first snowfall usually happens in November, and the snowy weather can last until as late as May. On the coldest days, you could expect temperatures going below minus 20 degrees Celsius. You definitely need to pack proper winter clothes before you come here. With these cold temperatures, you absolutely have to keep winters warm and fun as much as you can. So the Ottawa people came up with a long list of fun things to do in the winter. Ottawa is home to the Rideau Canal Skateway, which is the longest naturally frozen skating rink in the entire world. It's open from late December to late February, and you can experience ice skating with beautiful views for free. If hitting the slopes is more your style, there are many places around the city for cross-country ski, downhill ski, snowboard, tube and toboggan. Or you can visit national parks Omega or Gatineau for trails with stunning views, campsites and cabins with wildlife sightings. Ottawa is also home to one of the oldest winter festivals, the Winterlude, during the month of February every year. The city is transformed into a winter wonderland with snow playgrounds, ice carving challenges and performances. Summer in Ottawa is simply wonderful. June to August is known for sun-filled days and blue skies. On average, the summer months will see highs of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The Ottawa River is a popular destination for water adventures and activities, like wild water rafting or cliff jumping. For a more relaxed vibe, there is a handful of beautiful beaches. There is definitely plenty of outdoorsy things to do, and that's not all! 
There are around 35 major festivals in Ottawa. The Canadian Tulip Festival is one of the most famous ones. Located in Commissioner's Park, it preserves the memorable role of the Canadian troops in the liberation of Netherlands and Europe, as well as it commemorates the birth of Dutch Princess Margaret in Ottawa during the World War II. The annual Canada Day Festival on July 1st is also one of the biggest in all of Canada for obvious reasons. There is no better place to celebrate the country's birthday than its capital. It's a glorious fireworks show and celebrations that the entire city takes part in. Ottawa is also known for its museums. There are more than 14 museums here, and Canadian History Museum is the most visited in the whole country. Ottawa is also home to seven out of nine national museums in the whole Canada, which means if you're interested in something, Ottawa has a museum for it. Let's get down to business and talk about job opportunities in Ottawa. We've already mentioned that the major employer in the city is the Government of Canada, and there's many government buildings sprinkled all across downtown Ottawa. So if you'd like to start your political career, there's no better place to do that than in Ottawa. Life Sciences and Healthcare is the second largest employer in Ottawa. It's a hub for research, development and innovation, with world-class research labs that consistently make worldwide discoveries and scientific advancements. That is why the city has more scientists, engineers and PhDs per capita than any other city in Canada. In 2021, the city climbed into the top 10 position for ranking the list of North American talent hubs. In fact, Ottawa actually ranks as the most educated city in the country. We're currently at the campus of the University of Ottawa. And the very cool thing that we just observed is that every street here is named after a famous scientist. The technology industry is also thriving in Ottawa with some of the top names in tech like Shopify, Microsoft, IBM, Oracle. Ottawa has a high-performing technology sector. In fact, Ottawa-born software companies raised more money in public markets than any other city in Canada. Take that, Toronto! Sometimes Ottawa is even referred to as the Silicon Valley of Canada. With the abundance of activities, museums and natural sites, tourism in Ottawa is key economic driver. Approximately 10% of Ottawa's million population are employed in the sector. So if you are considering Ottawa as your future home, there are plenty of job opportunities. Whether you want to join a startup or a well-established company, there are many job opportunities with decent salaries. Ottawa also consistently ranks as one of the best cities in Canada to live in. So it's no wonder why so many young professionals come here with dreams to land their dream job and start their families. The cost of living is essentially the most important factor in determining which city to live in, especially in these times, the times of high inflation and the looming housing crisis. Ottawa lends itself as a more affordable option, especially when we look at the top five largest cities in Canada, but it's still not cheap. It's the capital city after all, and somebody's gotta pay for those Parliament Hill renovations and the thousands of Canadian flags. On average, a one-bedroom apartment costs around $1,700 a month. This definitely depends on what area of the city you want to live in, with costs going higher the closer you get to the downtown core. If you decide to live on the other side of the river in Gatineau, your rent will drop by a couple hundred bucks. As for other costs, it's estimated that a person's monthly expense, excluding rent, would come to around $1,300. And here is our breakdown. The monthly cost of utilities for an average household would be around $160, just slightly cheaper than Toronto, and your home internet would be around $80. Ottawa has a comprehensive public transit system with buses and light rail trains and a monthly pass at $120. Unlike the top three cities, Ottawa does not have a public bike sharing service, but the good news is that Ottawa is pretty walkable with wide sidewalks and pedestrian-friendly streets and most attractions are easily within walking distance. Just so you know, today's Christmas Day, so the city is empty, it's just us and homeless people. If you decide to drive, though, annual car insurance in Ontario is the second highest in Canada. The only thing that makes this fact a little nicer is that Ottawa car insurance is lower than that in Toronto, so be ready to budget for approximately $1,200 per year. That number varies greatly based on your driving record. 
Ottawa is located in the province of Ontario, so expect to pay the Ontario provincial tax. If you decide to live in the Gatineau area, be careful because you will be considered a resident of Quebec and therefore you will have to pay Quebec income tax, which is 5 to 10% higher. Median household income in Ottawa, according to StatsCan, is $77,000. As you can see, Ottawa is a unique city in itself with a perfect blend of urban and laid-back vibe, with plenty of things to do and a unique culture given its past and present. It's not the most affordable of the cities, but it's definitely one of the best ones among the biggest cities in Canada. It's a popular choice for future lawmakers, ambitious students and people with families who'd like to settle in in a compact and safe city. And it's also conveniently located between Toronto and Montreal, so if you'd like to do road trips, Ottawa would be a perfect choice. So tell us, what was your favorite part about Ottawa to learn? Would you move here and live here? Or maybe you're already living in Ottawa, so do let us know what's your favorite part of the city here. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And if this video was helpful for you, hit the like button below to make sure that more people see it. And we'll see you next time.